Dr. Maurice presents the spread of germs. You could be spreading disease by using your cell phone in the bathroom. Bacteria found in restrooms can be transferred from hands to cell phones if you're not careful. According to hygiene experts, wiping your butt, then touching your phone, or really anything else, can lead to the spread of salmonella, E. coli, and C. decipole. You might as well not even wash your hands. Study shows high-powered hand dryers spread more germs. A recently published study found that high-powered hand dryers like the Dyson Airblade spread more germs than other hand drying methods. The study, conducted by researchers at the University of Westminster and commissioned by the European Tissue Symposium, tested jet air dryers including Dyson Airblades against warm air dryers and paper towels. Scientists dipped their hands into water containing harmless microbes, then tested the different drying methods. Researchers found that jet hand dryers spread the most amount of bacteria, 60 times more than warm air dryers and 1,300 times more than paper towels. Jet air dryers utilizing 430 miles per hour air blasts could disperse viruses 9 feet across the bathroom, whereas standard dryers only spread viruses around 30 inches. Paper towels, which have been found to be the best option, only spread viruses about 10 inches. The greatest dispersals from air dryers occur 2 to 3 feet from the floor, the face height of a small child. Yuck! Hand dryers circulate poop. Hand dryers are blasting crap everywhere. A University of Connecticut study found bacteria blasted from hand dryers in 36 bathrooms within the institution's School of Medicine building. The research, published in Applied and Environmental Microbiology, found traces of the harmless lab-made PS533 and Staphylococcus aureus. The latter is associated with infections, while the former may have traveled from a lab through the air. Researchers also applied their tests to restroom hand dryers with HEPA filters, but found that 25% of bacteria were still present. So, hand towels, anyone? Germ cloud that surrounds each person is unique, like a fingerprint. Our bodies are teeming with millions of bacteria that we shed into the air continuously. A new study published in the open access journal Pure J has shown that the microbes we shed form our own personal germ cloud. Researchers found that microbes in unoccupied and occupied spaces are different since bodies give off different particles during movement. After putting three people in a room for four hours, they were able to identify each person based on their unique microbial signature. While the types of germs emitted are more or less the same, the ratio differs per person. Differences like gender stand out, as certain microbes, like lactobacillus, are more commonly found in women. These findings could help shed light on how infectious diseases are transmitted, while microbial clouds, like fingerprints, may someday be useful in forensics. More reported cases of the deadly superbug. Two more hospitals have reported that some of their patients were infected by the carbapenum-resistant Enterobacteriaceae, also known as the CRE superbug. The Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center reported that 179 patients may have been exposed to CRE. Seven patients were infected, contributing to two of their deaths. Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles reported Thursday that 67 of their patients were potentially exposed to the deadly bacteria with four confirmed infections. Hartford Hospital reported 180 patients may have been exposed and at least five patients were infected. CNN reported that the $30,000 duendoscope used on the infected patients was often cleaned with a $1 toothbrush. The scope, made by Olympus Corp, has a hard-to-clean elevator channel, which may have carried the germs into patients' bodies. Once inside the body, the antibiotic-resistant bacteria contaminate the bacteria in the gallbladder or pancreas. Antibiotics usually work by rupturing the cell walls of uncontaminated bacteria. But bacteria with antibiotic-resistant genes are able to defend themselves by throwing antibiotics out of the cell, by degrading the antibiotic, or by altering the antibiotic. 
Superbug infections affect the host's lungs or bladder and may cause death in up to 50% of cases, according to the CDC. Gyms are covered in bacteria more filthy than your toilet. Researchers at FitRated, a fitness equipment review company, released results of a study it conducted at three different gyms examining germs left on machines. Sampling 27 pieces of equipment such as treadmills, exercise bikes, and free weights, the researchers were looking for four different kinds of bacteria, some known for their resistance to antibiotics or for causing pneumonia, skin infections. From examining the exercise bicycles, the researchers found 39 times the amount of bacteria you might find on a plastic reusable cafeteria tray. From examining the treadmills, the researchers discovered more than 74 times the amount of bacteria you would normally find on a water faucet. And from taking a closer look at free weights, the researchers found more than 362 times the amount of bacteria you'd expect to find on the average toilet seat. Each piece of equipment sampled was covered in more than 1 million square inches of germs, and more than 70% of the bacteria found was proven to be harmful to humans. So maybe next time you hit the gym, remember to use workout gloves and soap, because as we now know, most gym rats are dirtbags. No offense. Guess nothing beats hand washing. New researchers found that certain germs are becoming more and more resistant to hand sanitizers. Alcohol-based disinfectants are widely used to eliminate germs and have proven effective against reducing infections like those caused by the Staphylococcus bacteria. But a recent study noticed a rise in enterococcal infections, suggesting that the bacteria that causes it may have developed a tolerance to alcohol. Alcohol is believed to kill bacteria by dissolving their cellular membrane, so it was thought that germs and viruses were unable to adapt to it. Researchers analyzed 139 types of bacteria from 1997 to 2015 and found that, on average, those taken after 2009 tolerated alcohol more than pre-2004 strains. Further testing showed that the alcohol-tolerant bacteria appeared in the guts of mice even after their cages were cleaned with sanitizing wipes. Currently, the enterococcus bacteria can only be killed with a 70% alcohol solution, though it's unclear if the bacteria could mutate to tolerate higher concentrations or even build total resistance. The study's authors say this doesn't mean people should give up hand sanitizers altogether, but there's a strong indication washing with soap and water is still the best way to eliminate germs. Heads up, germaphobes! Where you sit on a plane apparently matters as far as germ exposure is concerned, at least according to a new study. Human movement around an enclosed space such as an airplane cabin can supposedly spread more viruses than recirculated air. Since a person's seat influences their movement, those in the aisle and middle seats are more likely to get up and be exposed to germs. Passengers who pick a window seat and stay there have the least exposure. A study found that on a flight of 150 passengers where one person is sick, only one person on average will become infected. The odds of getting sick are highest among the 11 passengers seated closest to the sick person, three beside, four in front, and four behind. So if you're particular about germs, maybe try booking a window seat next time. And if you just happen to sit next to someone who looks like death warmed over, the overhead air fence might still help you ward away those pesky germs. Confirmed, flies are gross. New research has found that flies hold more dodgy bacteria than scientists previously believed. Scientists found over 600 bacteria inside an analysis of 116 flies. The insects can transmit harmful bacteria to food via their feet, legs, or wings. Houseflies were laden with 351 different kinds of bacteria, while the blowfly was found to contain 316 types. Scientists believe that flies bred with no germs could be used as a means to observe and measure public health. These would be released into the environment before being captured at a later date for analysis. Would you eat your food if a bug landed on it?